hello there, or should I say ahoy, which means hello or goodbye. So I heard that you're going to be a foreign exchange student and staying with us here in the Czech Republic. So we're more importantly going to be staying in Prague, which is the main capital city of our country. And we're not too far away from Germany. I mean, we're kind of tiny com compared to Germany, though. Not And pretty close to Austria. And also Slovakia is there surrounding us. So, a little bit about myself. So, I am in ninth grade. I'm in a gymnasium school, just like my brother. My brother's name is Jeffrey. He's decided to go start in seventh grade. I decided to start in fifth grade, because you have two gr years to make a decision. Do you want to do gymnasium schools or not? You either start in fifth grade or seventh grade, which is kind of when you want to like just specifically add create to your curriculum and start working specifically learning stuff about a specific field you want to go into. I mean, I was kind of somewhat guessing on what I wanted to do back then and I back in fifth grade, but I still like it. So, so my parents both work at advanced. My mom's an IT support person. So they help people that are having issues with software and my dad programs for it. And I mean, both of these jobs are pretty common. IT especially. Like anything technology is pretty common. It's one of the most popular jobs in our country. So we will be staying in this house right here. So, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's small, but I mean, that's not that bad. So we have a nice like, living area, dining rooms over there. And then we'll be staying specifically in this room, which has its own fireplace, which is kind of nice. So, you know, I mean, because, you know, as long as you just don't want to run in the heat and then just want to have a nice fire in your room. So, now about our education system. So, you, we have, it's mandatory to go from grades 1 through 9. Kindergarten and preschool are optional, but are highly recommended. Just so you can get some good learning habits and get a little head, bit of a head start. So, ninth grade is still considered elementary. One through nine is considered elementary school still. Which might be a little bit different. Which is different than your schooling in America. Because we don't have middle schools. So it's either elementary school or high school. So our main curriculum is math, English, and Czech. Math is our main focus in schooling. That's what they try to emphasize the most on us. Especially just what they want. And then English as well. Because English is one of the more popular languages in the world. And it's also the second language in our country. Czech is first. And that's... And native language. I mean, because English as well, like most people you will meet, so I know going over, you at least should be able to communicate with most people because they, most people know how to speak English. So, the gymnasium schools is a lot of uh, curriculum, like I mentioned. So, how do we address our teachers? We address them as professor. It doesn't even matter if you're in college, high school elementary school it's so professor not their last name so how's our education ranked within the world so we're ranked 14th and this is our school by the way that we'll be going to um, a lot of our buildings in the Czech Republic date back to um, when we were still controlled by the Soviet Union So our school days run from Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we start in September and end in June, same as most people need most schools in the United States. So it's a little bit nicer. And then all, especially because I've heard that you guys mostly run for eight hours a day, which sounds like a drag. And also, lunch is the most, like, the biggest meal of the day. 
not dinner, which I know is going to be a little bit different than America. So the way it works is most most companies have cafeterias, just like schools will, and they will serve normally two dishes, same as schools, two dishes that you can choose in, as your main meal for the day. And you still eat lunch at school, even though school gets out at 1 p.m. So private schools are available, but it's more for people that cannot succeed well in the public schools. So private schools are definitely more for people. Like, let's just say you struggle. Like, you were to struggle and cannot succeed well in our public schools. Then you'd be kind of have to go to private schools because maybe you could succeed a little bit better there. So, like, let's just say there's some students with like special needs or something. We have schools specifically designed for them to give them like the specific needs that they need in order to to get their best education for them. So our country is kind of looking out for everyone. Which is one of the reasons why we are ranked super high up in education at 14th. Like I mentioned a little bit before, uh, 1 through 9 is not, is mandatory. But high school is not. And that's another four years, so I know, like, in America, you have 12 grades. We have 13 as their average. Well, not average, but that's our, for, like, normal grade school. And then you can go on college, grad school. So our economy is actually doing pretty good. I mean, we are – our G, GDP has been increasing by $1,000 each year. Right now we're at about – $33,000 is the average income for a household, and our employment rates has dropped down to 2.9%, which has been the lowest our country's ever had. So, and with our economy growing, it could drop even more. So, until we meet in person, goodbye. Or ahoy.